Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show. The show is about transforming lives one story at a time. And I'm your host, Nikki Clark. Uh, so happy to be back with yet another stellar individual with uh, an amazing uh, story of upliftment and transformation. And uh, she is well known in the media community. Uh, and I'm so honored to have her on the show. Cheryl Plouffe is a video strategist, a former Canadian TV broadcaster, and the creator of Cash In On Camera. She has produced thousands of videos and has broadcasted over 20,000 hours over the television uh, network. Cheryl owns a video coaching company and virtual video production company that serves clients globally. So we'll get into that. Uh, but I just want to welcome Cheryl. Thank you so much for being with us today on the show. Nikki, excited to be with you because these are important conversations that I hope will inspire others. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I always say that it's conversations that matter. And I'm really happy that you're here to uh, share some of, you know, the, the nuggets, the lessons that you've learned uh, with our, our listeners and our viewers across the world. So let's get to it. Let's, let's find out more about who you are. Can you tell us about your background leading up to what you're doing today? Well, I, I grew up in uh, Timmins, Ontario. For those who are familiar with Canadian uh, climate, you'll know it's very cold there. It's a mining <laughs> town. And uh, really, I've lived in several different places across Canada, but I've spent my professional career uh, on Canadian television and have done you know, 25 years of it cumulatively. I've worked a bit in radio as well, have done corporate videos and voiceover work uh, here and there, a few commercials. Uh, but yeah, it's been, um, it's been a whirlwind, sure, certainly. But I grew up uh, you know, with two parents who split up for 10 years and then got back together after 10 years. So to say that I came from a broken home, yes, that was true for a certain period of time. But what was interesting about when my parents got back together was at a time in my life when I was around 18 or so. So I had a choice whether to go back with them back to Timmins from British Columbia or at that point, I'm 18. Do I go out on my own? Right. And so it's interesting, right? Because my family actually left me <laughs> rather than me leaving home. They left me behind uh, to start my life. But, you know, I've had a variety of different experiences, even at that age. You know, I was hosting a news magazine program at the age of around 18. Amazing. Amazing. So you're here, you're 18. Uh, you're getting your, your, your feet wet. You're getting your experience started in this company, then, then what happens next? Well, you know, the reason that that actually came to be was from some experiences that had happened to me in the prior like five years. So when my parents were separated, my mom had four kids, you know, I was the old eldest of the four, but she had really four kids. We were on social assistance. And so, you know, it was a rough time. It, it was a rough time. And I was actually very shy as a child. I was the one who, when the teacher called on me in class, I would cry. I didn't like attention. I didn't, I, I felt like a burning sensation when all of those eyes were on me. I didn't like it. So it was interesting for me at the age of around 15, when I had an opportunity to, it was actually a, a high school friend of mine whose mother invited me to take part in a fashion show, you know, her, me and, and a bunch of my girlfriends to be in this artisanal ma uh, fashion show with scarves and berets and this sort of thing. And I said, yes. And so I did it and I faced that fear. And then I faced, you know, another fear and another fear. And I started kind of getting, frankly, a little bit addicted to this idea of facing these fears that took me out of the situational circumstances of my upbringing into a really a new world. Right. And that new world led me to modeling and to uh, pageants, you know, back in the day when we would get on stage and answer questions from the host in front of 500 people, these types of experiences led me to public speaking, which ultimately led me to volunteering at the cable station, which led me to an opportunity to host this show. And then it progressed from there. And I really fell in love with it. Amazing. Amazing. I, you know, it, it, I, I meet so many people who are, you know, like yourself, very talented and you're in front of the camera, but, and it's, it's still amazing to me uh, to hear how you're naturally, your temperament is, is one that's very shy, you know, and, and uh, I have to say that I'm a kind of, I'm a combination of an introvert extrovert. I, I crave my time when I'm um, by myself and I'm, I'm quiet by nature, but you know, you're, you're able when the, when the camera turns on, you're able to, 
you know, tap into that other part of your personality as well. So uh, I thank you for sharing that. Um, I connected with that part of, of what you're I, saying. I've, I've, <laughs> never, I've never done the analysis of whether I'm introvert, extrovert, but I think if I had to, you know, say whether I am or, or aren't, yeah, I think I, I am a combination of both, especially now, you know, when I'm 50, I just turned 50 as of the recording of this show. And and, you know, I feel like I, there is a certain a part, of, part of me that likes my me time. I like quiet time. I like to walk and read and listen to podcasts and audiobooks. And But on the other hand, I, I do have this want and desire to make an impact and use my skill set that I've accumulated over the last 25 years to be able to further, you know, a cause or help people become authorities in, in their businesses and help them to really step into the spotlight. And I feel like, I've had an opportunity to be in the spotlight for some time, but now I feel like it's time for me to put other people on the pedestal. Excellent. Well, well that's an amazing segue into introducing your, your company. You've got a coaching and a video production company. Can you talk about how that kind of, uh, how that began and, and where you're at right now in terms of um, having people servicing your, the, the community looking for what you're doing? Well, officially, Cheryl Pluff Media has been in operation since 2017, but my journey to entrepreneurship truly and marketing truly began in 2013. So at that time, I was managing a news department for about 17 people, be it you know camera operators and journalists and digital writers. I was managing multiple bureaus across the country. And as is sometimes the case in corporate entities, uh, they decide to make some changes with things. And it, I had an opportunity to either leave or stay in a position and going back on the air, which is where I had come from. And I chose to do that. So for the next four years, this light bulb moment, I think, was in my soul that I wanted to transition from that industry that was seeing a lot of changes because of digital, because of social. And I wanted to be on the upside of that digital trend rather than on in an industry that was declining. And that's really what has happened because television has been, you know, mm -hmm. frankly decimated <laughs> in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Yes. So, uh, so I decided to spend the next four years really learning and immersing myself into marketing. And I've traveled all over North America to, you know, many, many conferences. I've trained with some amazing high level coaches over the last over those that over that four year period to the point where in 2017, it was time to go on my own. So I've been running Cheryl Pluff Media Inc. Uh, since then. And I've been working a lot with businesses of varying sizes from small to up to, you know, $40 million uh, annual revenue businesses. So I think at this point though, Nikki, for me, and maybe this is the case for a lot of entrepreneurs, when you're first starting out, you're trying to find your feet. You're trying to you know, you're throwing uh, spaghetti at the wall to some degree to figure out where you land. And I feel like I'm only now really kind of getting to the part where I'm having a lot more clarity about where I want to land. And, and I think cash in on camera is one of those things where I'm landing with all of this. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So uh, Cheryl, the, the company has expanded uh, so beautifully over the past uh, few years that you started. Who comes to see you? Uh, I mean, are these people who are seasoned in media or people are just, you know, they need someone like you to kind of coach them uh, into production chops, how to, how to start it all. Well, how, how do you groom the, the clients that come to you? Well, I think the people that come to me are people who internally know that they're talented. They know that they have a message. They know that they need to have more visibility and authority in the online space. They know that they have to have a presence in the online space or they risk being left behind. So a lot of the people that come to me are people who are entrepreneurs, speakers, authors, um, who have packaged their expertise into memberships, masterminds. They have online courses, coaching programs, uh, you know, people who recognize the value of having a strategy first approach to content, specifically to, mark, uh, to video, which is what I specialize in, but they see that authority is really what's going to take them to that next level. And, and so I really believe that we're in the business of helping people go from unknown expert to recognized authority, and that there's a difference between those two. 
Absolutely. So uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, the two themes that you brought up, the, the recognized authority. Uh, can you expand on that? Well, I think it's really about, are you being seen? What is the strategy for you to be seen? You and I both know, Nikki, the power of, of media and having a show format. We both have show formats. I think it, content is really the currency that is being traded in the attention economy, which is where we live now. You know, if you are a business that does not have a strategy for getting attention on yourself, then you're likely to lose. So this, that's the world that we live in. Everyone's on their phone. They're all mobile devices. How are you showing up? How are you being seen? And what's the strategy to, to continue to nurture that relationship? So, you know, I really believe that we have to look at the customer journey, right? It's like awareness, consideration, and decision. What are you doing in those three phases of that customer journey to attract and build awareness, to nurture those relationships, and then to convert them into clients? Absolutely. That's, that's beautifully uh, explained. Uh, thank you so much for that. Let's talk about your show. Uh, uh, how did that evolve and uh, when can we tune in to watch it? It's funny because I, 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 I go on a lot of walks and I think a lot about things. <laughs> and, and it's funny because Cash In On Camera came to me about a year or so ago, actually more than a year ago, probably about a year and a half ago, just before the pandemic. And it was through a coaching session with one, with one of my mentors where this kind of concept of cash in on camera came. Of course, I love the alliteration <laughs> of cash in on camera. <laughs> and when, when we worked through that and it came up, I said, that's it. I didn't know what it was, but I was like, that's what I do. That's the thing. And I didn't, I hadn't been able to put my finger on it until he said it. And we both agreed that this is really the direction, but not really knowing even through the pandemic, what it meant. So it's interesting that as I've been, you know, going inside of myself and thinking and writing notes and strategizing, I've realized that cashing on camera is really a concept of visibility and helping people to make money by being seen. And, and it wasn't until very, fr frankly, fairly recently that I decided to really morph this into, at least from a content marketing perspective, into a, an interview-based talk show. And we do it in a way where we use video and audio. I think you do some repurposing as well. I'm a big fan of it. But that's really what mm -hmm. it is, is this idea of having um, a connection between my, my content marketing strategy, as everyone should, have a correlation between your content marketing strategy and ultimately the thing that you do for people and the services that you provide. Excellent, excellent. And when can we watch the show? And well, where? because I multi-stream it, it's, it's on all of my channels at Cheryl Plouffe, pretty much everywhere. And, you know, it's YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook group, Facebook page, and you know, all those places. And then on Google uh, podcasts, Apple podcasts, Spotify, and about six other platforms. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm so honored to be um, a guest on your show, your upcoming show, and uh, looking forward to that. And you know, I've learned a lot about, you know, your journey and, and really the passion that you have. Um, so how has your life been transformed by pursuing this passion work? It's been, well, I, it's so fulfilling. You know, I, I love, not to say that broadcasting wasn't fulfilling. It was just done in a different way. You know, when you're a broadcaster for a big media organization, you are charged to help them build their brand as it should be, as it should be. So there's something to be said for when you build your own brand and you're on that journey and someone who you coach or give an idea to, or someone who actions something that you said on a call or, you know, they do something, they take some, some form of action and see a result, which I love, you know, uh, I'll give it a, a recent example. Actually, one of my recent guests who I had on and she said, I, I met, I saw her, I think two or three days later. And she said, oh, guess what? I have two new leads from just appearing on your show. Yay, right? Like that's exactly what I love. <laughs> I love those type of results. You know, people who have actioned things that I've shared. Uh, you know, I have another example of um, a client who 
I was sharing this concept of creating a beta program, like a group coaching program in one of my, my trainings. And she took it to heart. She did all the steps. And then she ended up selling like six spots and charging, you know, her first round and maybe it was $500 or whatever she charged, but she made three grand and she, and then she got paid to teach them. And I said, like, those are the type of results that I absolutely love. Wow. And, and that's what makes it so rewarding you know, doing what you do. And I can completely, uh, I, I can connect. I, I align with what you're saying. Um, you know, you go out and you plant, you sow these wonderful seeds and then to hear uh, the testimonials of, of people, you know, reaping from all that uh, great harvest. It's it just like, yeah, this is why I do what I do. So I totally understand for sure. Yeah. Cheryl, tell yeah. us how can people reach you? You mentioned you've got uh, multiple platforms. Can you tell us again specifically how to uh, reach you on either one of them? Yeah, sure. I mean, Cheryl, CherylPluff.com is where you can go. And you can also email me, you know, Cheryl at CherylPluff.com. Just send me an email. Say, hey, I heard you on the Nikki Clark show. Would love to connect. Um, let's see if we can, you know, book a bit of time and have a com quick conversation and see if there's anything that I can do to help you. But I really love this idea of actually connecting with people because, you know, I, yes, I have free tools. I have a 180 uh, video prompts list that people can download from my website. I have a whole host of resources there as well. But I think at the end of the day, it comes down to let's just have a quick conversation and see what's what. Let's find out where you're at in your business. There may be an opportunity that you hadn't thought of. And as a video strategist, that's what I love to do. I love to be able to help entrepreneurs and small businesses to be able to see things they hadn't previously seen as opportunities to leverage video to help them grow their business. So Cheryl at CherylPuff.com, go to my website, follow me on social media, send me a DM. I'd be happy to connect. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, uh, Cheryl. I really appreciate your pearls of wisdom. Uh, and I love uh, that you're, you're so um, passionate about empowering others. Uh, and that's really uh, what the show stands by, empowering others to succeed. So Again, thank you very much and congratulations on all your success. Thank so you. Looking thank forward you. to be a guest on your show. <laughs> I'm excited to have you on as well. And thank you for having me on your platform. My pleasure. Well, you've been uh, listening to the Nikki Clark show here. And uh, so, so, so honored to have uh, media specialist, uh, media personality, uh, entrepreneur Cheryl Pluff on the show. And uh, please reach out to her on social media and stay connected. Stay safe, stay strong, and we'll be back another time. Bye for now.